with my buddy Mike. It's his first time behind the wheel of a C7 <laughs> Z06. Have you driven a C7 at all? I have. I drove a 2015 just a uh, base package. Gotcha. Yeah. But your first time with Z06. Ah, gotcha. At the time I was looking, I was looking for a manual shift and of course I opted that one and test drove it, but that's the only time I drove a C7. So the first thing that we that we talked about was how the RPMs, when the car is cold, it starts at 4,500 redline, and then it starts inching its way up as the car warms up. And he didn't know it did that. Never heard of it. And as far as I know, the I've only seen it in C7 and C8s. But we're going to see what his impressions are. Now, Mike, you've seen on the channel several times, he has a C6 Z06. And I've got to tell you, unless you've driven one or been in one, you have you probably don't have the respect for how quick those cars are. Because they are they are fast. They're lightweight, that helps it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the pound to weight ratio is almost identical to one of these. Yeah, yeah. And you weighed yours the other day. I didn't remember. Did you get the results of that? <laughs> well, they actually the scale was broken. <laughs> oh, I went over there. I yeah, I weighed it, went inside to pay. They said, oh, it didn't pick it up. Go try again. So we tried again, and uh, yeah. You got refunded, right? Uh, didn't pay, actually. <laughs> yeah, didn't pay. They said, no, go try it again. So we went and tried it again. Yeah. And they said, no, nah, it's just not working. Try a different day. So yeah. we never did get the results of that. So we're still living under the assumption it's about 3,500 pounds yeah. compared to your like 3,150, I think, right? Something Somewhere, like that. I think it last a number I recall. I recall. I have to look at it again. 3,107. Oh, dang. I think. You know, it's interesting. I was Let's talking to my buddy of mine yesterday, and he's got the Z51 C5. He says his is at just over 30,000. Um, 3,000 pounds. Okay. Huh. And I, that surprised me. I thought those me were too. about 35, 3,600 pounds. I thought they were heavier also. I thought the C6 a, is when they... It's a 99. Huh. One I yeah. really want to get the run flats off of this thing because with that and the stiff suspension of the Z07 package, mm -hmm. it just, any little crack crevice in the road, it seems to just the car follows it. It just kind of yeah. like, ugh. Run flats are a different feel, and mine are older now, and that's like I, they're horrible. I'm yeah, not ready to get rid of them. kicks on yeah, and you start it starts yeah. killing your power and <laughs> the car nanny yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. Um, now one thing I want to talk about so I'm fresh out of a C6 the Grand Sport you have been driving your C6 Z06 for since 2018, so five years. Just the differences between a C7 and C6. So if somebody's in the market for C7, C6, I think the first thing, the first question is, what's your budget? Right. That's that's first big question, because you're going to spend 20, 25,000 more for a C7 if, if you go Z06 route on both. Yes. Um, but Beyond that, I think the first thing that I notice is the seats are so different. Completely different. I'm loving the bolsters um, on these. This, this really keeps you sitting still. I mean, this is snug and it's comfortable. For me, I like the C6 seat better overall. These definitely keep you in place 
way better. Yes. But as far as just comfort in the seat of them, this feels more like you're sitting on cardboard. Yeah. Where the C6 is much more plush. The, especially the, the, the seat part of it, the, it's, it's cushier in the C6, yes. Yeah. 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 I know they take a lot of crap for their seats, but... I, it's, I don't know, maybe as you start getting older and yeah. the extra cushion is necessary, <laughs> <laughs> it actually is a good thing. But So you got to trade off of the seats. Yeah. I think the interior material quality feels a lot better than the C7. The plastics just feel better quality. I agree. And that's been a long time issue with owners. Uh, that with the owners um, complaining about the quality of the interiors over the years. I mean, it's been ongoing, and I think with the C7, they really corrected that. Yeah. Um, you know, they really put forth the effort in the quality of the materials, the design. I mean, I'm impressed. It's I've, I've seen them over the years, and, and it's just it looks of good quality. It's definitely a jump up from the C6. I agree. It is. The C6 is nice. Yeah. But when you're buying that caliber of a vehicle, your expectations are much more than what they have put into prior models. C6, right. C5, right. Right, exactly. Now, when I get behind the wheel of one of these, the first things I always, the two things I, well, the one thing I really notice is how high the hood sets. Yeah, it's the ice is stock. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It sits really high in the middle, which... And I love the swooping fenders. They've still kept that. Yeah, that's the second thing I always notice. It reminds me of the earlier model Corvettes during the 70s, where you have, you know, you got the big fender that comes up, and then you got the center, you know, the hood that pops up, and, you know. Right. That's the things I notice. It really pulls in that sort of classic 70s-ish era Corvette. Yes. Like the C3s, I guess, right? I agree. Yeah. 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 And that was the one thing that I fell in love with with the Corvette growing up, with those C3s with those fenders. Yeah. And that back end. And, and I've just always loved that, that look. Yeah. They really went away with it in the C4 and even the C5s. And, well, C4, C4 through C6. Yeah. It seemed to have returned. It, it does come a little back a little bit on the C6. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You start getting a, a curvier hood. Yeah. That's the one thing with C5. You know, Jason always talks about how much he loves the C5, and I've never cared for the C5, and the biggest thing with the C5 that I don't like is the hood is just so flat. Yeah. I like... C5 is definitely a different curves. look. And, and, I mean, yeah. they really did a different design change to, to move away from the C4, and, and they just made a lot of changes. Even with the taillights, you know, they went away with the round taillights yeah. briefly between the later model C4s and then throughout the C5. But yeah. They returned with it. I was so happy to see the round taillights with the C6. Yeah. But no. there was a lot of people that were upset, though, with along the tail lights. Everybody yeah. talked about the tail lights on that. Yeah. I really don't mind them. They I, did, good. I didn't like it when they first came out. When C7 first came out, I hated them. And it mainly the tail lights I didn't like. Yeah. But about a year in, I'm like, I love that car. And it's yes. became my favorite. Now, with the C6, people also complained a lot because they took away your pop up headlights. And people said, oh, it's not a real Corvette. It doesn't have pop up headlights. You know, and so it's like my opinion on yeah. the pop-up headlights. There's a there are a lot of models of vehicles out there. A lot of models that it just doesn't look right with them. The C3 Corvettes, it looked right because you had the sweeping fenders. Yeah, right? and yeah. You had the downslope on your nose, and yeah. when they popped up, it was it looked right. Yeah, I agree. But you know the Firebird, the '90s Firebird. Yes. The worst looking pop-up headlights on a vehicle. <laughs> That's my opinion. And I owned one, so... Yeah. Yeah, I mean... But, you know, they look good on some vehicles. I I don't think they look good on the C5. That was my opinion. Yeah. Now, one thing I can tell you is a huge difference, and you may not have noticed it yet because you've only been driving this car for 10 minutes, yeah. between this and the C6, 
is the visibility out of the car. Your blind spots are horrendous in the C7. And you don't have that at all in C6. No, they're not too bad in the C6. You know, I can see what you're talking about now. We've been on the highway, on a two-lane road, but um, yeah, I'm kind of looking at it, I'm thinking, yeah, there, there's some Yeah, blinds. you gotta adjust your mirrors in a weird way, not, you so. know. Yeah, I see where you've really gotten wide out there. Yes. Yes. yes, yeah. yeah. And even at that, it still has blind spots. Yep. You're right. But it's got a very aggressive look. I mean, they, GM was very purposeful in how they designed this car. I mean, it is yeah. so aggressive looking. Yeah. thing with a C7 the way it sounds C6 still had that very American V8 sound to it yes this to me when they went C7 Z06 they it kind of has a hybrid sort of not hybrid vehicle but it's kind of got that classic V8 American V8 sound mixed with a little bit exotic yeah does that make I can sense see, I, 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 yeah that makes sense I see what you're talking about. I hear what you're talking about. Yes. It doesn't have that. It's just not all deep rumble. It's got just it's something that's a little some, different. It's, it's kind of got a mix of kind of a Corsa sound to it, but not that overly high pitched Corsa that you'll find in the aftermarket exhaust. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love the sound. And this is stock. Yeah, totally stock. Yeah. It's a great sound. The only thing this car's had done to it was it does have an AFE cold air intake on it. Yeah. And that's I it. That. I talked to the owner, the original owner, which it's a one owner car until me. The suspension feels a lot different from the C6. It See, does. It's got a stiffer ride. And part of that is the Z07 package. Oh, that's right. It, it does stiffen it up quite a bit. Um, but having a non Z07, Z06, uh, C7, a lot of numbers in there, but uh, <laughs> having one of those before, this is just, it's a little stiffer and than the, the non Z07 package car, but they still feel different from a C6 to me. Now you said you drove my C6 Grand Sport and you said it feels a lot different from what your Z06 feels. It does, and um, you know the shifting pattern, the shifting feel is, is about the same. Is it okay? Yeah, but the your suspension felt different. Yeah. Um, ever so slightly different, but I mean, but you also said you suspected it was slightly lowered, right? I know it was lowered. Yeah, when we matched it up with yours, it was like an inch lower yeah. than your car was. So. Um, we know yeah, it was lower. The steering felt slightly different. Of course, you had a different steering wheel, which I love, by the way. I mean, I am, I am going to be hitting you up for where you found that on Amazon. <laughs> it was actually eBay. 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 Yeah. Oh, it was a great steering wheel. I was impressed. It it changed the whole feel of the way the car steered. Believe yeah. it or not, I, and it was so weird because I didn't think a steering wheel would do all that. Yeah. It was. You know, I expected it to feel different in your hand, but it felt different the way the car steered even. And I don't know how, with just a steering wheel, that would, you know, that yeah, would happen. And, and, I, I, and I think along with the steering felt a little different. It was um, the power you had already placed, you had already installed the cam in it. And so the power band was different. Yeah. Too. I mean, it was a different feel. How is the power band different? Because they, they were putting out similar horsepower after the cam job. I think I think yours was a slightly more delayed in the response. I mean, it, it did get up and go from the get-go. It was responsive. Um, but it, um, it, you really felt it above three grand. Yeah. And with mine, it's down low. I mean, you really feel it right off the bat and it, and it's just the power band on the Z is just constant. It's just, yeah. it's just, it's just forever. Yeah. All, all the way up through the RPMs. And then you hit, the, you go run through the gears and you're just feeling that power band just never lets up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And although I didn't like really, by no means it wasn't my vehicle, I never topped it out. It just had a different feel to it. It's, that low end was a little different than, than my car. Yeah. 
you had to keep the RPMs up to feel the yeah I mean, what it was putting out. What a great car though. I mean, it, the the power on it was impressive. I, you know, I'm not discounting that at all. It it was a it, that was a neat car. It's got a good feel on the road. But you're right. You can feel it with the it wants to play with the yeah the level of the road. It, 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 there's a dip on one side it wants to come a little yeah. bit to the right or the left a little bit but I mean as long as you understand that it's, it's just that's your sport that's your tuned suspension yeah yeah and once we get the run flats off here it'll feel a lot different I think so yeah because I remember when I got my other Z06 it was the same way and I got in it and it feels like the tires are severely overinflated, yeah. and it's real edgy and it's the best way I know how to put it but um, but once I changed to the all season uh, I went all season on that I'm not going to go all season on this I'm going to go ahead and go with the continental um, the summer tires. summer tires yeah that's the way to go yeah I mean, when I, I picked up those dittos years back I was really happy with them and I had the real soft compound on those and yeah they were quiet they performed well yeah down here in Texas, we can get away with summer tires year-round. Yes. Because our winter's like 50 degrees, you know, so. Exactly. It's no big deal. Now, I'm loving the layout on this interior. I'm loving how you've got everything in hand, and it's it's like. Very driver-centric. It's and very driver-centric. That's a good word for it, yes. Um, everything's very, the, the gauges are very visible. Although you do have some digital, it's, I love the analog. I always like the analog look on, you know. <laughs> and that's when all customizable. Out, when the 84 Corvette came out, you know, you had all digital. I mean, it was, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, really? Yeah. Give me the dials back. I love the analog look. Yeah. yeah. And this you can customize in so many different ways, too, and get so much different information. I like using this one because I do like seeing what my engine temperature is. Yes. And, you know, I like seeing all the oil pressure, the voltage, tire. I like seeing it all. And this is the only layout that they have that has all this info okay. on it. So, interesting. and I didn't know they had all the different choices. That's really cool. That yeah, you a customization of how you it, want to lay it. If out. you hit that button to go over, and then you go up to info and hit OK, you're going to get different information. Yeah, hit OK. Uh, yes, there you go. Okay. So then when you go down and cycle through with your down button, oh. you have a lot of different things that you don't have with the other one. Oh, yes, yes. So I'm constantly going back and forth between the two, but I, I sit on the other one. Yeah, your tire pressure as well. Yeah, it'll tell you your tire temperature. Oh, really? Um, yeah, not the actual, like, how many degrees it is, but it'll tell you if they're cold, warm, hot. Yeah. We're back. Final thoughts. Uh, powerful. Uh, this car has got a lot of power. It sounds great. The seats really keep you in place. Um, great car. I love the layout on the instrumentation. Um, man, anybody who desires a Z06 C7... It's a great car. It's a great car. GM did the right. Did it, did it right. Well, I think it's time for me to go drive your Z06 because I've not driven a C6 Z06, so Let's do I'm it. ready. Yeah.